Hello, it's Beverly from Sustrans here and I'm joining you for a short lesson thinking about how we get places. You know when I'm in school I'm often chatting about traveling different places so it could be to the school, to the shops, to your friend's house and chatting about how we think about doing that. So different types of transport, different ways we can travel places. So for this lesson we're going to have a think about different types of transport, a little bit about why we might choose to use different types of transport and then, you know me, I love my bikes, we're going to think a little bit about bikes at the end and using bikes as a way to travel places. My first question for you then is what are the different types of transport? I'm going to get you to list as many different ways you can think of to travel different places and I've got a couple here to get you started. So, I've mentioned it already, bike would be one type of transport. I've also got a camper van. So you might want to pause the video for a little moment, have a think yourself or have a chat um, to the person next to you and list as many different types of transport that you can think of. And we'll come back in a moment and see what ideas you came up with. So I'm sure you made a great big long list. Here's a few that I thought of. Car, van, motorbike, fire engine, bus, train, lorry, tractor, boat, plane and of course we can walk places too. Now you quite possibly came up with lots of others that I haven't thought of but I think that's a good start. So what we're going to do, I'm going to ask you a few questions. We're going to make things a little bit simpler and just use these types of transport that are on the screen now. And when I ask you the question, if you point to the one type of transport, or there might be lots of answers, so you might point to two or three different pictures that answer my question. So my first question is, can you point to one or lots of types of transport there that you might use to get to school? And again, you might want to pause the video for each question if that makes it easier, give you a little bit of time to answer. So again, there's lots of answers. You might walk to school, you could ride to school. I'm sure some of you come by car um, and some probably come by bus as well. How about visiting a friend's house, someone who lives fairly close to you? It's probably similar answers again, isn't it? So you could get driven to the friend's house, uh, you might walk, you might cycle um, or possibly go by bus. What if you are being possibly dragged with your parents to do the big shop and get all your food for the week. I'm guessing most of you probably said car for that. Um, you might do it other ways. I know I've cycled in the past and had bags on my bike that I can carry lots of stuff on. Um, but if you're carrying lots of stuff, probably most are going to go by the car. Which ones then are noisy? Which ones would you hear coming a long way away? Probably the noisiest there is going to be the fire engine. You could say motorbike. Um, tractors are quite noisy. Um, even some of the bigger things like lorries. Um, so again, there's lots of different answers. Which one or ones do you think would be really fun to have a go on? There could be lots of different answers for that one. Um, I guess a lot of us are going to probably say the fire engine. Although, if I had a camper van like that, I'd be very happy to have a go in it as well. Or, you know me, I love my bike as a way to get places. Which ones have an engine? Okay, it's probably easier for this one to say which ones don't have an engine. So they all have an engine except for the bike and the walking option. Which ones might you use if you were only going on a short journey? That's probably the same answer again. So if you're not going too far, uh, walking or cycling are probably your best options um, because it's not going to take you very long to get there and um, you don't really need the other choices. So there are lots of different ways to travel places. You can use lots of different types of transport and you're going to use them for different reasons. And there's good and bad things um, about using each of those different types of transport. So my next question for you is going to be thinking about some of the reasons why we might choose to use a particular type of transport or why we might choose not to use it. So the first one we're going to do is car. And I'm going to ask you again to pause the video in a little moment 
and have a think or have a chat with the person next to you about one good thing about using a car, one reason why you might choose to use the car, and one bad thing, one reason why you might choose not to use the car. And if you're feeling very smart today, you can think of more than one reason. And I'll join you again in a moment to see what you've thought of. So hopefully you come up with at least one idea for each side there. I've got a few things here, and again, it's not all of the answers. So if you've thought of something else, that's absolutely great. So I have put that they're good for longer distances. So if you're traveling a big, long journey, a car is a good way to do it. You can carry lots of stuff, a bit like we were talking about earlier, um, if we're off to do the big shop. You can pile all those bags in the boot and you're not having to carry them. Keeps you dry. Could be important in our climate, it does rain some days. Uh, so if you're in the car, you're not going to get wet. But what about bad things? There's some reasons why we might choose not to use the car as well. It pollutes. Now some of you will have heard of that word, some of you might not. But if you're standing behind a car, especially when it's just starting, you'll have seen the smoke coming out of the back of the car. Um, and that goes into the air. And then we might breathe it in. And it's really, it's not very good for us and it's not very good for the world around us. And what's coming out of the back of the car is called pollution. Um, so that's a reason maybe to try not to use the car if you don't need to. This is a personal opinion, you might disagree. I find the car quite boring if you're sitting in it for ages. Um, there's not a lot to do. I find it a bit boring. And the last one I've got is you need a parent to take you. You're not quite old enough to drive yet. Uh, so you can't just nip in the car and nip around to your friend's house. So you need to make sure there's someone with you to do that. Okay, the other type of transport we're gonna have to think about, you know me, is going to be the bike. So again, in a little moment, pause the video and have a think about one or more good things about using a bike and one or more bad things about using a bike. So again, it's my personal opinion, but I think bikes are fun, uh, especially when you get to zoom down the hills. Um, but you're out and about in the fresh air, you see what's going on around you. Um, I love being on my bike. It doesn't pollute. So there's no smoke coming out of your bike. Um, it's just you powering it. So it's really clean and it's really good for the environment. And it's faster too. If you're gonna go for a walk and you wanna get there a bit faster, hop on your bike and you'll definitely get there nice and speedily. The bad things about a bike, you might get wet when it rains. Now personally, I'm quite happy to put my coat on um, and get a little bit wet. And once you get there, as long as you take your coat off and um, you should be dry underneath but that might put some people off. It's not so good for long journeys. As you get fitter, um, you'll be able to go further, but if you're going a big long journey, bike's not really practical. And the last one again, you'll need a backpack to carry your stuff. Now that's not really a bad thing, that just means you need to be a little bit organized um, so you don't have bags hanging off your handlebars, um, but you just need to think about that uh, before you head off. So what we're gonna have a quick think about now is why people choose to use a bike um, and what people use bikes. So have a little think about who you think would use a bike. Again, you can pause the video if you need to have a wee chat with the person next to you. Now, I don't know about you, the first group of people I think about using bikes is children. We always think about children being out on their bikes, playing around, having a bit of fun. There's lots of other people who use bikes too. I think I just gave you a clue by sneaking onto the next clip there. I don't know if you can work out who these people are. Again, they get a big name. They're called commuters. Um, but a commuter is someone who's traveling to work. And you can use different types of transport for commuting. So you can travel by car, by train, by bus. Um, but lots of people choose to commute by bike. So they use their bike as a way to travel to work. Other people? Well, what do you think? Do you think there's any other jobs that can do um, their jobs in a bike. What about the police? Have a wee think. Some of you might have seen the police on bikes, and certainly you sometimes do, particularly maybe around a park or around a city centre uh, where either cars aren't allowed or the cars are moving very slowly. Um, the police can hop on their bikes and they can get around nice and quickly without getting in the way in their car. What about another question for you? Do you think the postman can use his bike? 
Yes, again, depending on where you live, you may well have seen the postman on his bike and you can see he's got lots of boxes and bags there so he can carry all the parcels and all the letters um, and take them about into your houses. He also, of course, uh, can walk to do his job. Again, you might have seen the postman with this big trolley which carries all of the post um, and they can walk from house to house. few ones you might not have seen. Um, you can also use bikes to transport lots of stuff. These are called cargo bikes. So instead of taking, say, a van in the middle of a city where there's lots of traffic, um, you can take your delivery on a bike. And another type of cargo bike, this one you might like to have a go on, um, you can have cargo bikes that carry people as well. Um, so you could have somebody cycling you along um, on the journey. And and the last one that I really like, and I'm guessing most of you would like to, you can even get bikes uh, that you can cycle around with your big box of ice cream on the front and then sell the ice cream to other people. So there are lots of different ways that we can use bikes. Lots of different people use bikes. There's lots of reasons why we might choose to use a bike or to walk places um, instead of always being in the car. Uh, it's great for short journeys. Uh, it's great because it gets us some exercise and um, I think it's fun. Hopefully you think it's fun too. Um, and there's no pollution. It doesn't harm the air around us by putting that smoke into the air. So I'd encourage you to have a wee think about some of the journeys you're making, um, some of the shorter journeys and have a think about do you always need to hop in the car um, or can you get on your feet or get on your bike for some of those short journeys. And the great thing about that too is as you get a bit older and a little bit more independent, it means you can make those journeys by yourself and you're not waiting for someone to drive you places. So now is a good time to start practicing that um, with someone a little bit older so that uh, you'll be able to do it yourselves at some point. Now, just as a last thought before I leave you, uh, if we are going to be out cycling or walking, it's really important we keep ourselves safe while we're doing it. So I've got a picture of the policeman here. And again, have a little think. You can pause the video if you want. There are a couple of things they are doing to make sure they are safe while they're riding their bike. See if you can spot what they are. So the first one should be easy. Uh, they're wearing their helmets. Uh, definitely important to be wearing your helmet when you're out in the bike. And the other thing they're wearing is they're wearing bright clothes so that they can be seen easily by the car drivers. And that might be something like a high-vis jacket um, with the special reflective strips, or it might just be a bright coat, a bright jumper, um, anything at all that helps you be seen a little bit more easily. So we've had a quick think of lots of different ways to travel and we've thought about why we might choose different types of travel. So next time you're heading out on a journey, have a wee think about different ways you could make it and which way is the best way to make it. Um, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to get a few journeys out on your bike as well and have a bit of fun. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll hopefully see you soon.